Hey guys, it's Sarah. And today I wanted to wrap up all the books that I read for the Roll Your Next Read, which is a game that my friend Lindsay and I came up with for our Booklist Thursday over the summer. And we created a board where you roll dice and you get a prompt and then you pick the book based on that prompt. And we did that over the summer and used it to pick our five-star predictions and just used it randomly. I do have two reading vlogs that you can watch and that shows me rolling and then picking the books and talking about them and doing a reading vlog for them. I wanted more reading vlogs out of that, <laughs> but I will say that, you know, rolling and then reading, I wasn't doing them back to back to back. So it took me a long time to get those videos completed. So if I decide to do something similar to this in the future, I just know that I'm going to need to actually try to read back to back so that it, they can go out a little bit faster and it, not so much time passes. So unfortunately, I didn't have as many vlogs up as I wanted to. And now I'm to a point in December where I have quite a few things I'm going to try to concentrate on to finish out the year. So I'm not going to be focusing on this anymore. So I'm kind of done with it. But I wanted to share all the books that I read and the prompts that I fulfilled for those. So this is my board. And I marked off all the ones that I did. And then I have all the books written down below with the prompts. Now I did a little twist on it myself where if I rolled the same number twice, so I have, you know, like a one and a one or a two and a two. And that is, you know, the prompt because it's like a bingo. So we do side and side and top. And if I had the same number twice, then the next time that I rolled, I would roll for two different prompts and I would make one book fit for those two prompts. So a couple of these are doubles. First one I have was Water and I read Drowning by TJ Newman for that one. I'm not going to go into synopsis and all that stuff because I have already talked about these at nauseum, <laughs> both in my reading vlogs and in my wrap ups. So we don't need to get into all that. Um, but that one was a double. It was a five and a five. And so the next one I did for two. So I got Royalty and Color. And for that one, I read Inheritance by Catherine McGee, which is a little novella in the American Royal series. And that was fun. So it has my favorite color on the cover and it involved royalty. The next one I had was Travel. And I read My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. And that one um, fulfilled that prompt. And then I rolled for our five star predictions. So the first one was hot and I picked the hottest book of the year, which was Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And then I got award and I read Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid because that won a Goodreads Choice Award from last year. And then I got old where I read Dune by Frank Herbert because that is an older science fiction novel. So those were my five star predictions that I read those four. And then I ended up rolling for dark and I read My Darkest Prayer by S.A. Cosby. Not only is it a dark cover, it has the word dark <laughs> in the title and it's very dark content because that's what he writes and it was really good. Okay, and then I ended up rolling for favorite and that one was a double as well. That was one and one. So um, for that one, I read Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Klune and loved it. So the next time I rolled, I rolled twice. I got big and light. And for that one, I picked 11 by Tom Rogers because it it's a very small book, which is funny. But I picked this one because it follows a big topic in this follows 9-11, like on that day. It's a middle grade book. So it was a big topic, a big event in our history. And I picked light, picked it for light because it has a light blue cover and there's a lot of white on it as well. So it was almost opposites that way. But that one, um, one of those light was a double. It was a two and a two. So I rolled for the last time, I rolled twice and I got author and number. So I ended up picking one of my favorite authors and then number one in the series. And I picked The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. That is the first book in a companion series, like trilogy that she has and loved it. And crossed off 13 prompts using those 10 books. So that was pretty cool. I did not get a, like a bingo, a straight across or anything. I'd probably have to play this for a long time to get one of those because you're rolling. So it's very much up to chance <laughs> on what you end up picking. So I did not get an actual like bingo or anything, um, but it was fun. 
I really liked this concept of this game. So um, maybe we'll do something similar next year or, you know, see what we can do. But it was fun to like have this over the summer and to do it. And I'm glad that I kind of continued a little bit and got a few more things off. But yeah, I liked it. Okay, guys, that is it. I just wanted to give kind of like a final wrap up for that because I'm officially not going to be doing that moving forward throughout the year. Um, but if you want to see the reading vlogs that I have for these, I will leave them linked down below. So make sure you go and check them out. I'll also leave my five star predictions and follow up for that because we did roll for those. So I'll leave like anything that has to do with this. I'll leave down below if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah. All right. Let me know if you participated in the roll your next read and how you did. Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Give us some feedback. We'd love that. And we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.